don't buy much flooring anymore because I don't get access to it, but I bought this floor, which is, this is the top layer, and this is the underlayment that came with it. The top layer is hand plane foot worn spruce. Now, it's a little thinner than it might be ordinarily. It's like three quarter because it's worn down somewhat. But this stuff averages probably 13 feet and it's about four feet wide as it's stacked here and then it's, I don't know, there's one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So you can figure that out, four times 13 is what, 52, six rows. So there's about 300 feet of this, this stuff here. It's not all that long. There's some, you know, in here there might be two pieces put together to make up that, but mostly it's full length stuff. And it's, uh, it's really early, you know, right around 1800 or a little after. This is the underlayment. It's hemlock. It's mostly wide. It's rough, of course. This tends to be the full inch. There's some shorts in there. You're going to have that with underlayment. You can't help it. But there's more than, there's probably 350 feet of that. Um, so on this lot here, if you buy, if you buy the whole lot, you know, the top floor and the underlayment is like 1200 bucks. If you want to buy just the top layer, it's going to be about 900 And another, this bottom layer here is probably going to be 500 if you buy it separately. Uh, in that lot, there was apparently one tree that was chestnut. I've got that. There's probably 75 feet of that. That's going to be sold separate. That's going to be like 350 bucks for the chestnut, which is pretty reasonable. So I just got it. It's not denailed or washed or anything. It hasn't been sized. I just cut some of the bad stuff off the ends. So uh, I don't get this very often. This is an opportunity to have a nice early New England local mid-Vermont mid uh, floor from around 1820. Thank you.